Hey friends, I hope everyone's had a great Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how I made a house pocket um, in my Bible using the Stencil Girl Club monthly stamps. Here I'm just doing the background in my Bible with dots and dust watercolor and I spritzed my page with water first because I wanted the colors to really flow together and I used Favorite Things set along with Jack Frost and Festival of Lights. Here I take some deli paper to create my house. I wanted something thin thinking it would be transparent, but that didn't really work out because I used acrylic ink and or acrylic um, paint and I wasn't thinking about it um, not being see-through. So I took acrylic paint in white and used some acrylic ink in brown to get a base color. I was really going for a darker brown, but I think this turned out pretty good. So I just spread it all over the deli paper with a, a palette knife and had to make some more. And I like that it is not completely smooth, like it's got little flecks of color throughout it. And a palette knife makes it just a little textured. It keeps it from being too smooth. And I have to dry it. And then I'm going to take my stencil. And it took me a minute to decide what to use for my house. I wanted some color, but I didn't want it to be too colorful. Um, so I thought I was going to use the Green Delusions paint. But then I was like, eh. I changed my mind. So then I went with Distress Oxide in Faded Jeans. And I just took a makeup sponge because I wanted more control than my daubers. My, well, my little rounds, whatever they are. And went... On different sections of the house with the makeup sponge to use the faded jeans and I just love these little houses these stencils are so fun and neat and I have more plans for them um, actually in the next couple of days uh, and then I took um, distress oxide lucky clover because green and blue, well, to me, it just works. It does go together on the color wheel. It's similar. And created um, a little bit of green accent on my house. And then I had to bring in some brown because it's my favorite Distress Oxide. Vintage Photo. I use it almost every time I pull a stencil or Distress Oxide out. I just, I love the color that it creates. And it always just adds a neat accent. So I added brown to the house, um, and I'm actually going to come back with that in a few minutes. But then I took my Delusions paint in yellow, um, lemons, lemon, hang on, I'm going to tell you in a second, lemon zest um, to create the windows, like there's light in them. So it looks like a happy home. So I just paint that and paint's hard on stencils to me because sometimes it seeps under the stencil and I don't have an answer for that. I just have to be okay with it not being perfect. And I am. Then I decided my door needed to be brown, not yellow. So I um, put the brown, the vintage photo back on that. So now I've got to make sure that's dry well or dried well. And then I'm going to take... Um, my deli paper and it took a while to dry. I don't know why but it just seemed kind of damp for a while even after I cut it out the deli paper seemed damp and so I cut out the whole house and I'm actually going to lose part of the house which is a little sad but it's okay because I like the finished product but I'm realizing now that it is not see-through so I've got to change my mind a little bit on how I'm going to do this because it also does not fit in the margins of my Bible. So I'm bringing back my Bible and making sure that that watercolor is good and dry. Just mopping up some of the puddles. I like the way that that looks when you um, soak them up. And so I am taking, I have ideas here. I wanna make a pocket with this house. So if I cut off the bottom, then that gives it a, um, a pocket and it still looks like the house is put together well. So I'm going to run it through my sewing machine to create the pocket. And there it's been done. 
Um, but I realize that it's not see-through. So instead of just putting it directly on top of the words, I want to create a tip in. So I glue it down on cardstock and then cut it out, being careful not to snip my threads because I love the look of threads dangling out of your pages. And I actually did not cut that thread that it looked like I cut. And so now all I've got to do is take some tape and put it on the back and the side, which I'm going to do here in a second. Um, and I went with masking tape, mainly because it just holds a little better. And I, I love masking tape. Um, so I put masking tape on the back. And I'm going to put just a couple of little um, strips that I've torn on the sides. And that way it flips front and back. And that is my house pocket.